Hey, that's me, Kristen, or Chris for short. I'm an artist and maker from Suffolk in England. Sometimes I wish I picked one creative niche and got good at it, but somehow I ended up pursuing all of the things. From traditional wildlife art, mainly working with gouache paint, needle felting, graphic design and digital illustration, and the most obscure of all, ethical taxidermy. The animals I work with are mostly roadkill, which sadly is abundant where I live. Window strikes or natural deaths. They're never killed for sport, pleasure, or for the sheer purpose of taxidermy. I don't condone that for one second. I was born and raised in and around Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. It's quite a rural area surrounded by stunning countryside and woodland. It's rich in wildlife, and that's definitely played a part in my creative journey, as it gives me unlimited inspiration. I love to go out and spend time in nature when I'm able to. Watching birds and taking photos of them is one of my favourite things to do. I also use the photos for reference material in my artwork. For as long as I can remember, I've been obsessed with birds. I remember picking up a jay feather, just like this one, at a very young age in my nan's garden and it just sparked something inside of me, and ignited a passion for the natural world. I constantly just made scrapbooks and sketched birds all of the time. Since giving up my job as an in-house graphic designer due to ongoing illness, I've really developed myself as an artist over the past few years. Having to contend with chronic illnesses like fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis means my daily life is really difficult. It feels like wading through an Olympic-sized swimming pool full of treacle, and that's before you've even had breakfast. Although I look normal and healthy, my illnesses render me housebound most of the time, often even bedbound. But in a way, I give thanks to my illnesses, because if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be on the creative path that I feel like I should have been on all along. It's given me a lot of time at home to flourish and develop my creative skills, as well as it being a type of therapy for me. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little intro. If you want to see what I get up to on my weird and wonderful journeys, then please give me a follow on social media. I'll leave all the links in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!